YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot. Today, I'm bringing a brand new video. I hope you guys are doing well. It is November 8th, and so realistically, you guys have had three days to play Call of Duty World War II because the first 48 hours of this game was a disaster. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. We're all thinking it. We all talked about it on Twitter. Activision Sledgehammer really dropped the ball on the servers, and so for the first 48 hours, it was, the game was essentially unplayable. But ever since then, I've had a lot of time to enjoy the game. It's boots on the ground. It's what we've been asking for for many, many, many years. Begging and pleading for boots on the ground. And we finally got the game. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, there are some good and bad things about it, but they're all mostly good things. I mean, there's only nine maps with the launch. We have a very different created class system, which is sort of the basis for today's video. But overall, it's all good things. I think we're in for a great year for anybody who's a fan of the franchise, whether you're just a casual player or a competitive player. All good things. But what I want to talk to you guys about today, besides this gameplay, by the way, which is awesome. I, I'm really, really happy. This gameplay was, I was so proud of it that I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do an old school Call of Duty commentary and talk about this game and hopefully help you guys win more gunfights. So enjoy the gameplay, but let me talk real quick because I only have a short amount of time. So as I continue to play the multiplayer on World War II, there was a common theme. I was doing really well, but sometimes I was losing gunfights that I had no business losing. Like, it just didn't make sense to me. Everything pointed to the idea of the fact that I was going to win this gunfight. You know, I had positional advantage. I was pre-aiming. I would have first shot. I would get hit markers before I was even receiving damage. And then somehow I'd be in the kill cam and I'm sitting there scratching my head. How did that just happen? And I even went to Twitter to talk about it. I'm just thinking to myself, these exchanges that I'm having in these gunfights are just so inconsistent. What is wrong? Is it a network issue? Is it something that I'm doing wrong? It, I just, something wasn't adding up. And so the more that I looked into the classes that people had when they were beating me in a gunfight, it all started to make sense, okay? So for whatever reason, Sledgehammer decided that they were going to change creative class. In Black Ops 2, I think that was the most perfect creative class system that we had. That was uh, Pick 10. Then we had like Pick 13, but really the overall foundation of Call of Duty is we've always had perks. And for whatever reason, Sledgehammer took it upon themselves to change that. We have basic training skills and then we have a division you get to pick one of each and that's your creative class i don't know why they did it i don't think anybody ever complained about perks but whatever we got to live with it we got to deal with it but there is one specific basic training skill that is going to help you guys win more gunfight and i'm going to tell it to you guys right now it's called prime now what prime does is it allows you to have three attachments on your weapon the only way you can have three attachments on your weapon is using the infantry division and having it ranked up high enough i think it goes up to level four and then you'll get three attachments on your gun uh but you can also run airborne or mountain or armored or expeditionary while using this basic training skill called prime but that third attachment is great and all but that's not the important part the important part is it reduces flinch now if you guys don't know what flinch is they have this mechanic built in the Call of Duty. When you get in a gunfighter, if you get shot and you're aiming down sights, your gun flinches up or to the side unpredictably. It's completely random. So there's no way for you to foresee it and, and account for it and, and readjust your aim for it. It, it just happens. And it, it, there's nothing you can do to control it. And that's a problem, right? Because that adds inconsistencies to the game. And when you have inconsistencies, you have a game that just is frustrating. It's not fun to play. Now, I'll have a lot of people in this video sort of argue with me saying, oh, it's Call of Duty. It's supposed to be realistic. At the end of the day, this is a video game. And I think it is, it's important that the game is consistent because everyone's going to have more fun that way. You don't want someone to randomly have an advantage over you in a gunfight. Long story short, flinch should not be in Call of Duty. And so the biggest problem that we have is you have to run this basic training skill if you want to win more gunfights right but it's sort of a waste of a basic training skill because there are so many other skills that you should be using for your class to give yourself a different type of a play style or a different type of advantage there are so many crucial and essential basic training skills but you can't use them because you have you have to run primed if you're not running prime you're going to get outgunned and you're going to be frustrated because you have to deal with flinch it would be different if flinch was predictable right like in csgo you have recoil patterns but you don't have that with call of duty flinch is not predictable that's the overall high level concept that i'm i'm barking at you guys so you have to run primed there's just so many other things that you should be running on your class and have to run on your class 
but you can't because you have to use prime to have more consistent gunfights and that's the biggest problem now the last thing that i will say is a very bold statement but i think a lot of you guys will agree with me almost all pro players do as well we should just remove flinch completely from call of duty it's only hurting sledgehammer and call of duty developers by still having flinch in their games it just adds to the randomness and inconsistency of these games and it just makes people angrier and more frustrated because when you don't have control over the situation that just doesn't make sense it's not competitive it's not fun so remove flinch from call of duty allow people to use other basic training skills and everybody will be so much happier guys that's the video 16 to 0 in four rounds of call of duty we averaged four kills every round which is just crazy and we didn't die flawless gameplay hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think about this problem that call of duty world war ii has we just need to get rid of flinch so that everybody doesn't have to run primed we we want more variety but we can't have it because everyone has to run it we don't want flinch youtube we'll see you later goodbye